No, you are not seeing things. This is quite real. People are now getting married in a video game. That's right. No, I'm not making it up. I've just read this on Twitter. <sighs> and it says here in this article, our avatars kissed the same time we kissed. Oh, isn't it nice? What it's like to get married in the metaverse. So the metaverse is a, a fictional world that exists online. A virtual world. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't exist! There's no such place. You did not marry this person, and no, you did not kiss. Don't give me that crap. Seriously, this is what times are getting to. People have got to this state now where they're living in video games. It's not enough to play. You have to actually live in them. It says in this, in this article, I'll carry on reading it, I might as well. In September of last year, a US couple decided to get married in the metaverse because, you know, getting married in a church or a registry office, well, it's too boring. Too ordinary, of course, far, far too ordinary. As more people seek to use augmented reality to host, as more people, I don't know anybody who wants to use augmented reality to host traditionally in real life events. I don't know anyone that wants that. So don't give us the bullshit. Nobody wants it, right? Okay. So here we have our here we have our happy couple here. Their names are Tracy and Dave Gang Gangnon, Ganondorf, whatever. They they first met in the virtual world. <clears throat> let me let me reread that for you. They first met in the virtual world, as most people do, right? We've all heard of that. We've all heard of that classic story of your nan and granddad uh, meeting for the first time in the virtual world. They met in the virtual world almost seven years ago, really. So this has been going on for seven years. How marvelous. I didn't even know about it. Uh, they fell in love. Oh, they fell in love. How wet can you possibly get? Snap out of it. They fell in love in real life and married in the, me in the metaverse in September last year. Uh, but then it says here, but is Marion in the metaverse legally binding? <laughs> Is it legally binding? Well, who knows? Who cares at this point? Why does anything have to be legally binding? If you can get married in a, in a bloody video game, seriously, I just can't believe this. Tracy and Dave's avatars walk down the aisle in an online ceremony. This sounds like a joke. This honestly reads like a joke, but no, no, this is, this is true. Uh, it was staged by, oh gosh, Verbella, I can't, I'm never going to pronounce your name, so forgive me if I got that wrong. Verbella, a company that builds virtual environments. At the same time, they married in real life at a country club in New Hampshire, US. So what was the point in getting married in a video game if you got married in real life? <laughs> oh gosh, and it goes on and it says here, it was literally our avatars kissing the same time that we kissed. <gasps> oh, how romantic. You know, it, it reminds me of that classic old vintage tale, you know, those old fairy tales by, you know, Hans Christian Andersen, you know, where they met and kissed in a fucking video game, <laughs> in a bloody video game. Not a lot of shit. What a lot of shit. Can you honestly believe that we're living in these goddamn times when this kind of madness is going on? Seriously, what is the bloody point? Kissing in a bloody video game? That's what it's coming down to, is it? Oh, we kissed for the first time the other day in a video game. You realize that you didn't actually kiss if you kissed in the video game. It's a lot of bullshit. There was no physical contact involved, you silly twats. It's just a game. It's not real. <sighs> many, ever since the ever since the COVID nineteen pandemic, many couples have turned to technology. Really? Well, okay. Such as Zoom to allow guests to be virtually present at weddings when they could not be. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, mate, I can't turn up to your wedding, but I might turn up on an app if you don't mind. If you've got your mobile phone, sure, I'll just, I'll just turn up in a video game. Sounds great to me. For Tracy and Dave, the metaverse experience allowed them to go a step further. Really? Well, a step further from what? I mean, they're not doing anything. They're just playing a game, for God's sake. They're not stepping away from anything. The advantage with this technology is that it is focused on bringing people together. They're not together! And they're not together. 
this is anything but bringing people together, you damn idiots. Uh, okay, and it carries, and I'll carry on, and it says, and if there's one thing that we need right now, it's to feel connected to each other. Boo. Shit. We all know that this is crap. Right? It just is. Oh, uh, here we've got one of Dave's friends here. Uh, one of Dave's close, closest friends told him he couldn't attend the wedding due to concerns about COVID-19. The virtual version allowed him to still deliver a toast. I would smash my head against the desk. But there's, there's no point uh, at this point. This is sad, this is bad. What you're looking at here right now is the future of, of weddings. You know, uh, you know those old wedding photographs you see on the tabletop, you know, <laughs> of your mum and dad or your nan and gramps or whatever, whatever, friend, friend. Uh, you're not going to see a photograph. What you're going to see is this. Yep, that, that's it. That's There's the happy couple there. Look at them there, side by side. What, what a beautiful photo. What don't, you, don't they look like a great couple? You know, I can't see anything going wrong with this. Oh, and it says here uh, that Dave looks like Jeff Bezos. I know. No, nope. <laughs> no, I can't see anything going wrong with this. This looks really great. This looks absolutely brilliant. The future of weddings, the future of human interaction. We are bringing people together by making them stay apart. Absolutely brilliant. This is this is glorious. I'm sure that this will not lead to any, you know, problems when when people get when they get bored of each other in the virtual world and want to get divorced. That'll be interesting to see. Divorce in the metaverse. That'll be the next thing. Okay, Dave, keep us up to date with that. You know, online relationship. Me, I'm just gonna go off and play a video game, like a normal person. Next time on the Ranting Man Show, I get my hand stuck in a letterbox. How silly of me. <laughs> Tune in for more adventures of the Ranting Man and listen to him spaz out over complete useless crap, like a complete madman. <laughs> <laughs>